What's going on everyone? It's Mike back again and this is your Everton first Newcastle match preview. Now let's put this in perspective. It's Newcastle v Everton. It's Bruce v Carla. It's True Geordie v Blue Boys Network. It's Dominic Calvert-Lewin versus no one. And that is why we should be confident going into this game. This Newcastle side is probably one of the poorest Newcastle sides I've seen in years. But don't get me wrong. They've got some heart. They've got some grit. They've got some desire. And we've seen it a few times over the last few years. So let's take us back to January. The 21st, a Tuesday night, 8 o'clock kickoff. I think. Everton are tooling up. 93rd minute. We managed to blow all of that out of the water and can see two goals. One in which Pickford genuinely is over the line when he catches the ball. And we draw that game 2-2. It was a shocking mistake that night, in my opinion, by Carlo Ancelotti because he took off all of our attacking players which kept the ball down their end and he essentially went, right, let's bring on some defenders and... You can come and attack us this way. We fell to absolute pieces and it and it was oh god. I remember sitting there after the game, just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Prior to that, in the December, so you know, we'd literally played these guys four weeks apart and we beat them two one. We beat them two one at their place. Again, a game where there was grit, there was determination, there was drive, it was lovely. Time before that, yes, they beat us 3 2. But Everton, Everton have, you know, you know, if you look on the form of things, Everton have done better. 2018, we got four points off them. 2017, we got six points off them. You know, in these seasons, we've, we've done well. And I suspect we'll do it again this season. Everton are top of the league. They're flying high on confidence. Do not look at that Southampton game and go, you know, confidence is on the floor. There's no need for it. There's no need. Everton are still top of the league. You know, they have the right to be top of the league because of how well they've played this season. Six games, one defeat, four wins, one draw. You take that all day. All day. What a start to the season. You know, level with our uh, our local smaller rivals. Everton are in a great position to start challenging for, you know, I'm not going to say league honours, but challenging for Europe. We've put ourselves in a great position. We've given ourselves some distance from all of the boys that you'd expect to be around us. You know, teams like Arsenal, Manchester United, you know, they're all down there. They've all got less points than us. Chelsea, nine points. Man City, eight points. Tottenham have come OK. They've got 11 points. But we've already took three points off them at their place. You know, Liverpool, we got a draw against them a couple of weeks ago, obviously. We all still know about it because Liverpool fans, the media, are all still trying to murder Jordan Pickford. But the facts are... We deserve the right to be top of the league. Goal difference of plus five. We're flying. Everton are flying. Irrespective of what team we played last week. Very good Southampton team. Everton are flying. And we should be very, very confident going into this game. And we will. We'll get the ball down. We'll be creative with it. You know, we'll look for the outlets of players like Iwobi, James Rodriguez, Gordon. I'm saying Iwobi just in case he starts, but I highly doubt he will. You know, we're looking for that ball over the top to... And conquer who's going to be doing them them overlapping runs. And I'm telling you now, he's going to absolutely rip Newcastle a new one down that channel. Newcastle sitting in 14th place. And, you know, if you look at their team, you know, whether they play, you know, whether they play dummy or whoever they play at, at right back or left back. They're going to have a hell of a time. They're going to have a hell of a time against Unconku because he will be going up and down all game. Unconku is like the Duracell bunny. He has got energy to burn. He's got quality. He's got skill. He's got a delivery. You know, he's the, he's the second best left back in the Premier League. So Everton go into this game full of confidence. And I genuinely have no doubt Everton win. I'm going to give you my team. It's Pickford in goal. Unconku on the left. I'll go with... I go with Mina and Keaton in the middle. I'm really hoping we've got a right back 
back. Like, I, I genuinely am hoping that Kenny's back. Or Coleman's back. But we won't find out until tomorrow. But I'm hoping one of them's back. If not, you've got to stick Godfrey in there. Midfield three. Gomez comes back in as long as he's not got an injury. Because Sigurdsson did very little to uh, give him another opportunity. Um, Allen and Decore. And then you've got Gordon on the left. Dominic Calvert-Lewin up front. And James Rodriguez on the right. That team is good enough to beat a Newcastle side. Home and away, no problem at all. And I am confident. I'll go with Pickford in goal because I still trust him. You know, I still trust him. I think he, he didn't do much wrong against Southampton, uh, Southampton yet. Yeah. Didn't do much wrong. He's just got to keep it up. Keep it up. So, look, that that's kind of what I think. I think they'll try and use the pace that they've got. St. Maximum. You know, they'll use Callum Wilson to try and get him behind. And that's where Everton are going to be weak. You know, mean at Keane, not the fastest on the turn. You know, Kenny, Coleman, Godfrey, whoever plays at right back. You know, Coleman's probably still out, I think. Kenny hasn't played in a few weeks. And Godfrey got ripped a new one last week at right back. We know he's a centre back. So, you know, it's difficult to say. But that's where they'll look to exploit that pace. You know, St. Maximum, Wilson. But as long as we keep those two players quiet, as long as Allen and Decore, in my opinion, do a better job than they did at Southampton, we'll win this game. We'll win this game. You know, the other players that you've got to look out for, Almiron hasn't, doesn't really score, can be creative, but doesn't do great. You know, Joe Linton certainly doesn't worry me. John Joe Salvi in the middle of the park. He'll try and control things. But again, he's not very good. Everton... Everton should have no worries in this game. But I don't want to be overconfident. I'm not doubting Newcastle have fight and grit. But on paper, they're not they're not going to beat us on paper. And that's where Everton have to step up. They have to go to St. James's Park. There's no worry about a hostile atmosphere. There's no worry about them, them fans getting on our back. We've got nothing to worry about that. All we need to do is go there, play our game of football and walk away with three points on a Saturday afternoon, which would be absolutely monumentally glorious. That's exactly what we need. It would be epic. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you press the subscribe button, the like button and share this video because we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the season. And it's more than capable. I mean, we're up for, it looks like we might hit a million views this year. This year, um, one million views, 7,100 subscribers, really, if you round it up. What a result that is. How brilliant is that? We feel great. We need you to help us get to where we want to get to, which is 10,000 subscribers. And then from there, we're going to hit the room. We're going to... The room? The room? I mean the moon. We're going to hit the moon. We're going to be like Mr. Beast levels we are. I promise you. Because... We really want to, we really, really want to do smash it. We want to give you the best content. And the only way of doing that is by your help. We need your help. So press the join button. Donate if you can on the live streams. Try and watch the adverts. Really appreciate it. All the money goes back into the channel. Or this week it's been donated to uh, Food Banks and and uh, Big Fella Ian on, uh, on Twitter. You know, we love donating. We love giving shirts away, giving shirts away and donating all of the money we earn off here so it's key it's important we love the community and that's what it's all about so guys look i'm going to leave it there very whistle stop tour match preview there i hope you've enjoyed it I'm, I'm i'm really excited as you can probably tell i'm buzzing i'm bubbling over i'm really really confident we can get something from this game i just need everton to just smash it that's what i need everton to smash it go and score prediction we concede we do concede we'll concede we could we concede i think We've conceded two in every game this season so far, isn't it? Apart from Palace. Something like that. So I'm going 3-1 Everton. 3-1 Everton. Yeah, 3-1. Yeah, 3-1. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Have a fantastic weekend. Friday night, Saturday night. Obviously, the team news isn't out yet. This is recorded on Thursday. Game's out on Sunday. Team news is Friday. Sorry. I love to do my match preview a little bit early on a Thursday for you. Plus, I didn't do a video Tuesday or Wednesday. John didn't come up with any video ideas either. So, look, that's a complete waste of time, isn't it? I mean, we're talking about setting up a conspiracy channel and he has done nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's an absolute disgrace. So, guys, I'm leaving it there. The following video. 
contains our thoughts and opinions on conspiracies all around the world. There, have a fantastic weekend. See you soon. Peace. Up the fucking toffees. Yeah.